Coming into Purdue, I came from a high school where I was lucky enough to take a lot of AP classes and dual enrolled classes. So this means that when I started out, I had completed much of the first year engineering's requirements, like except for the actual engineering class. So I did not retake any classes and I started in Calculus 3 and I found that to be okay. Um, for students coming in, I would recommend you know, if you don't have classes, that's completely fine. Everyone's coming in with different background, but it's good to have a strong foundation in math, physics, and computer science. Yeah, so I actually came in with AP BC credit. So that's credit at Purdue for Calc 1 and Calc 2. And I actually took that credit. And for me, that was really helpful just because, you know, starting in Calc 3, it kind of aligned with um, some of the things we were learning in the GAS Scholars for Sure Engineering program, since they did have, you know, they would teach you all the math that you needed to know, but it was sort of helpful to have that background and that foundation. And moving forward, I was able to take some other classes down the road. So uh, now as a sophomore, I'm taking classes that are a little bit ahead, which is nice. And, you know, I didn't come in with credit for humanity, so I'm able to take those humanities credits earlier rather than later, which is also really nice. So it's given me that opportunity to kind of take those classes and also add on a minor. Yeah, I came in with um, a decent amount of credit. Most of it was for my gen eds, um, and they helped me focus more on things like minors. And so uh, when you go into Purdue and specifically civil engineering, you're given a four year plan. Um, and so once I found that, I was able to kind of cross out the classes I didn't need to take. Um, and that was pretty helpful. So for I came in with a fair amount of AP credit. So in high school, I took all the AP histories I could take along with uh, BC calculus. So I came and AP Spanish. So I came in with all of those and the AP Spanish credit really helps me because it helped me in, with regards to my humanities. And I with BC, I tested out of Calc 1 and Calc 2. So, but I ended up retaking Calc 2 just to kind of like get a feel for things, which I'd recommend when it comes to credit, like taking as much as you can, because it also helps with registration. So like I have a slightly higher registration status than some of my peers because I came in with like 20 more credits than them. So even if it's a couple of credits, like it doesn't have to be a lot. It could just be like two AP histories, like whatever you come in with, I would always recommend taking. And then for the math, if you test out of Calc 1 and Calc 2, if you think it's a good idea and you have a strong grasp on the concepts in Calc 2, definitely go into Calc 3. But like for me, I knew I could probably brush up on some of the Calc 2 topics again before going into Calc 3. So that was really helpful for me instead of just kind of dropping myself into Calc 3 because they do work very well like in tandem with each other. 